Hola familia humanidad, hello family humanity, salut la famille de l'humanité. We are here today at La Florida. We arrived yesterday after a 10-hour walk from Nakbe, which is completely at the end, not at the end, but at, in the middle of the jungle of Guatemala. And we walked 10 hours, close to 40 kilometers. And we made it here yesterday at La Florida. We decided to sleep. Now we just woke up and we are ready to visit La Florida. And I'm ready to tell you the story of La Florida. Hola, familia de humanidad. It's your brother Wallace. Today I'm going to tell you more of the story of La Florida and we are going to visit the site or what there is to visit because there is not much. But I will show you everything I can. La Florida is actually situated at a two hour walk, a little bit less of uh, Carmelita which is the entry of the jungle, you need to pass by that community called Carmelita. Two hour walk and you get to La Florida. It was inhabited around the same time as El Mirador in the middle pre-classic. But the peak habitation of La Florida was around 600 to 800 AD in the late classic. La Florida lacks pyramidal structures and its core of the city is really abnormal because the architectural style doesn't follow its neighbors which use triadic style. The only main structure that has been uncovered is something that they call structure number one in the west of the plaza. We will see later in the video of the visit of the site. Structure number one, the one that we will mostly take all our time to visit, is believed to be constructed around the late classic period. So that means at the beginning of the city, at the beginning of this beautiful complex called La Florida, there is not much we can find or uncovered to visit and of big dimension. Even the structure number one is not that big. It's 15 by 10 meters by five meters high. Curious, but maybe La Florida had another purpose instead of a gigantic complex.
in the southern part of La Florida, there is a stream with lots of flints. So maybe now you're thinking, ah, La Florida might have been used for a commercial purpose or as a distribution purpose, having lots of different materials close to La Florida. Maybe it could send some to the one that were deeper in the jungle without those materials. And you might be right. The remains of all those materials are in large quantity. So archaeologists believe that La Florida, the people living here were really good at sculpting it and marketing it to sell to the other temples farther north in the jungle. The same could happen with the palm tree leaf called guano because here in la florida there's tons of it and this tree leaf called guano we use it to build roof the last layer of the roof to prevent rain to go inside and nakbe el pintal wakna el mirador they all lack that tree they don't have it so again, there is high chance that La Florida was a place of resources. They had lots of resources. They were good uh, artisans. And then they sculpted, they made pottery. They used the flint to make uh, weapons. And then they had the leaf to make the, the roof. And then they marketed it to the other ones that were down deeper into the jungle way bigger city but la florida didn't had uh, didn't had to be a big city because all they did was take the resource so it was more of a class of people uh not noble people more like uh just regular inhabitants working their craft and then selling it Abandoned around the same time as El Mirador, La Florida saw a regain in population, a reoccupation of the site around the early classic period, around 500, 550. And during that time, this is where they left behind the beautiful pottery in codex style. So... A lot of looters, looters or robbers, people that go to sites and dig, dig, dig until they find something under a structure, under a pyramid, anywhere. 
and then they sell it on a black market. So looters came to La Florida, they went to every site. Like this is my last site in the jungle, I'm going back to the city today. But every site they had holes, trenches. And I, we cross a lot of uh, smaller pyramids on our way to different sites. There's trenches. So archaeologists and researchers believe that during the year 1970s and 1980s were the years where the looters were the more present in the uh, Guatemala jungle. And especially here at La Florida, looters probably found a good deal of pottery because for 80 to 100 years La Florida was really focused on creating those beautiful pottery in codex style. So until this day there's nothing much we can do really against the looters. The only thing is having guards at the sites. They do this pretty much everywhere now at all major sites like here at La Florida there's a beautiful camp but looters um, still go everywhere even in Belize and Mexico and in the jungle of Guatemala so if ever you see one please report it <laughs> that was uh, the little story of La Florida there is not much to say about La Florida there is not much I could found on La Florida but you have a little sneak peek. Now it's time to go and see the beautiful structure that is uncovered. Family Humanity, muchas gracias. Thank you very much. If you like that little story and if you want to know more about the Maya civilization, visit hundreds of different sites without moving from the comfort of your home or the comfort of your I don't know where you are then just subscribe and like this video because I'm at the beginning of my journey right now on this camera I have seven temples that I need to edit and then post on this channel and then I'm going back into the jungle for another couple days how many temples over there maybe another six temples so Stay tuned, stay blessed, stay awesome, and I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Welcome to Expression Number One at Florida. Today, we're going to appreciate that the work of the looter was bigger than the job that the archaeologists have done. This is a pre classic metate, a mano de piedra, a stone hand to grind corn. It's a pretty small one, huh? This one uh, is probably because instead of grinding corn there, they were grinding. Uh, no, they were grinding uh, the fruits from the Seiba Pentando because they're also edible. And that's just for the king. Okay. The same as uh, the male Seiba Pentandra. He produces what we call silk cotton. It's almost like cotton, but it comes from the Seiba. And this is what the Mayas used to make thread in order to weave the clothing of the king. Mm. Only novelty. Just keep your feet. Again, we're going to see here how the looters manage to work so freely that they extracted buildings as we've seen in Nakbe, in Guacna, and now we're here at La Florida. This is all the work of the looters. This is how much time they had in their hands. This is the main building where we think the king slept the king was here at some point uh, it is believed that this was the guards room 
that was the king's room and the prince that he was guarding the, the chieftain slept here and we're not sure if these loops are here to tie the captives or they were here to tie the jaguars that guarded the chieftain of the city because we have one here and we have one here One of the most famous looters from Carmelita, he was nicknamed Smoke Stream because he, he chain smoke. Mm. When, the, when Professor Hansen asked him if he has anything to do with the loops yep. in the structure, he said no. They were as they found them. Now this way, please. Now we believe that the king himself slept here and that this would have been uh, a place where he puts his jewelry and uh, mm -hmm. like a you're, safe. Yeah, you're the king. You don't need anything. You need something. Yeah. Just clap your hands and there will be 10 slaves here to, to tend you. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to access the inner building. Mm -hmm. the original one. This? No, mm -hmm. this was set here by the by the archaeologist mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because the original wood was gone. Mm -hmm. it, it was rotting. Mm -hmm. So they placed this here about 40 years ago. And as you can see, termites are already doing their job. Yes, as usual. Yeah. This out here, again, we're, we're encountering one more time the corbel arch. The corbel ceiling is, along with these corridors, are strictly for structural support. They won't lead ever to a royal entombment because the Mayas did not practice that, with the exception of Palenque. That is the only site that we have found a an entombing, a royal entombing inside the pyramid. And so that is really similar to La Muerta. Yeah. Yeah, these used to be the main rooms, mm -hmm. and then at some point when they were to add the new constructive stage, they put these walls in there. Well, the walls were were put in here. Then they made the corbel arches. Yeah, we filled them with rocks and rubble, and threw the the next building on top of it. Wow. We can see the original stucco on the ground and if you compare it with the stucco that we have seen on the walls it's an entirely different uh mixture yeah because that's still there yes and that's not here so better quality for the ground better quality for the ground the dripping ledge right there All these little hills you see probably pretty much are the same as these complexes yeah. and all homes. the mounds. Yeah, all yes. the mounds we passed yesterday will be something like here. We do not know the use of uh, or what the cities produce besides Florida that they produce the, the lithical tools which were for agriculture and work. And these were made out of uh, silex or flintstone. Uh, then we have Nakbe that produces the codex ceramics. 
which were famous around the Mayan world because it will be the equivalent for us to have a coffee mug with a quote from the Bible mm -hmm. nowadays. Instead, they had a, a, a ceramic base with a passage of the Pope book. That's why it's called Codex Ceramic. Then we have uh, El Tintal, that is believed to be the ones in charge of the jade carvings, because a lot of jade was found there. That's where Mr. Smoke Stream, Chorro de Humo, found the pectoral that he had in his hands. He donated it to Professor Hansen mm. for the small quantity of five bottles of rum. <laughs> <laughs> Vámonos. Vámonos. Now we're done with the visit. That's the only structure. And now we're going back to Carmelita. After a two hour walk, we should arrive. Everything will go perfectly. And then Carmelita, take the bus, and then Flores. I believe not only, not the only structure. Look at your surroundings. Everything yes, no. It's not the only structure for sure. I mean, the only structure that is uncovered. Correct. And it's funny because it's Correct. by the Luthers. It's by the Luthers Plaza? Yes, true. Okay, Familia Humanidad. Adios. Stay blessed, stay awesome, stay pure, and spread love. Stay passionate about the ancient civilization. I'll talk to you soon. Now I'm getting back into the city. Editing for the next week's minimum. All for you guys. For me also. Okay, hasta pronto.